السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بكم في فيديو جديد هو البث المباشر لإطلاق القمر الصناعي للاتصالات المصري على مبنى سروف إيريان فاير طبعا طيبة سات زي ما اتكلمنا قبل كده هي سلسلة أقمار مخصصة للاتصالات ده أول أمر منها إن شاء الله ومن المتوقع اللي هو هي... هينطلق كذا أمر بعد كده عشان نكون شبكة تحتية يعني نساعد شبكة تحتية أو شبكة الشبكة السلكية في مصر عشان الاتصالات تكون أقوى وأفضل بإذن الله تمام عملية الإطلاق اتأخرت مرتين قبل كده كان من المقرر اللي هي تنطلق يوم اتنين وعشرين ولكن حصل بعض المشاكل كانت عبارة عن إن كان في مشاكل في نظام الدعم في المنصة نظام التزويد والدعم الأرضي في منصة الإطلاق ولكن الإطلاق يتأجل يومين كان من المقرر إن هو يتم الإطلاق امبارح يوم خمسة وعشرين ولكن برضو حصل ظروف جوية منعت عملية الإطلاق. النهاردة في محاولة تالتة لإطلاق الأمر الصناعي وإن شاء الله تتم بنجاح يعني زي ما انتم شايفين طبعا البث ده لايف لايف من, من قناة رسمية لإيريان سبيس بالتوقيت الفعلي اللي ليه دلوقتي زي ما انتم شايفين على يمين الشاشة فوق في عداد العداد ده عبارة عن الدقائق المتبقية حتى إطلاق الصاروخ تمام طالما العداد لونه أخضر أو المكان أخضر كده زي ما أنتم شايفين ده معناه إن مفيش أي مشاكل يعني مفيش أي مشاكل ممكن تحصل The main cryogenic stage and the two solid rocket boosters were first assembled on the launch table and then طبعا ما يعني المعروض دلوقتي فيديو عن منصة إطلاق الصواريخ اللي بيستخدموها والصاروخ الصاروخ اللي هو إيريان 5 اللي بيستخدموه لإطلاق الأمر الصناعي In Marsat GX5, the lower payload had landed at Felix Ebwe Airport on October 24 and was transferred directly to the S5C payload facility for unpacking. Combined operation with the launcher had started for Tiba 1 on November 7th by its flight mounting on the payload adapter. Then it was transferred to the base building, hoisted onto the iron dual launch structure. طبعا ده الصاروخ وهو جواه القمر الصناعي زي ما هو واضح في الفيديو ده شكل القمر الصناعي اللي هينطلق في الفضاء طيبة واحد دي منصة الإطلاق المهندسين وهم شغالين على على تجهيز القمر الصناعي للإطلاق was performed last Monday with all tracking stations that will be involved in the final chronology on the flight. Yesterday's operations of D-1 consisted in the transfer of the launch vehicle to the launch zone. 
Today at D-Zero, the operations will gradually gear up the launcher for liftoff. At the end of the chronology during Arian 5 بيحمل اثنين ساتلايت وكيبا 1 وساتلايت 10 roughly 40 years after the first Ariane launch in French Vienna. So those are all the operations that have been going on in the last من المفترض إن الساتلايت المصري في با واحد هيدعم الخطوط الأرضية للاتصال اللي هو شبكة الاتصالات المصرية ويشتغل على المستوى الحكومي والمستوى التجاري بجانب إنه هيغطي بعض الدول في شمال أفريقيا يعني مش هيبقى خاص بمصر بنسبة 100% طبعا دي خطوة كبيرة جدا في مجال الاتصالات في مصر لأنه هيساهم في 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 إنه يخفف الضغط على الشبكة الأرضية والبنية التحتية للاتصالات. حاليا يعني زي ما أنتم عارفين كل حاجة بتعتمد على الاتصالات في حياتنا يعني ف مع مع الاستمرار المباشر للأجهزة اللي بتستخدم الاتصالات ده بيسبب لود على الحمل الأرضي في الشبكة التحتية في الاتصالات. فطبعا حاجة زي كده هتكون حاجة مهمة جدا وهتساهم في عمل تأثير كبير جدا في, في الاتصالات آه زي ما انتم شايفين فاضل دقيقتين على عملية الاطلاق فوق العداد على, على اليمين الشاشة طالما العداد اخضر يبقى الحمد لله كده مفيش اي مشكله كده مفيش اي مشكله في سواء هم في كذا معيار بيبصوا فيه من ضمنهم معيار الجو ومعيار انظمه الدعم وكذا حاجه كده طالما العداد اخضر يبقى كده الحمد لله مفيش اي حاجه كلهم كله طالع من مركز التحكم عشان يشاهد الاطلاق طبعا لحظة جميلة جدا ده طبعا فريق الدعم دول بيتابعوا كل حاجة يعني زي ما احنا بنقول في مصر كده بالحنتوفة يعني لو في أي حاجة لازم يبصوا عليها لأن حاجة صغيرة ممكن ممكن طبعا تأدي الانفجار وتأدي الكوارث دقيقة أقل من دقيقة أقل من دقيقة Live at the Kiana Space Center, and one minute to the launch of Tibo One, the Telesilenia Space and Airbus Defence in Space, on behalf of the government of Egypt and GX5. Flak Saruk Al Masri, Al Amar Amar Al Sanai Al Masri, Tibo Set One. Our best wishes to all the teams. We're pretty set to go. Let's watch now. طبعا سروق علي أمر سناي ثاني واللي هو إن مرسات GX5. تمنياتنا بان كل حاجة تمشي على خير يا رب عشر ثواني تمانية سبعة ستة خمسة أربعة ثلاثة اثنين واحد اطلاق Qui les permettre à bord sont normaux. La propulsion est nominale. Well, 
Well, that is a spectacular sight. Ariane 5, flight number 250, the 250th Ariane vehicle to launch from the pad here at the Guiana Space Center, blazing a trail across the equatorial skies. Flying supersonic, faster than the speed of sound. And the vibrations are reaching us here at the Guiana Space Center. He's telling us that everything on board is going according to plan. We're flying out east across the Atlantic. Tiba 1 and GX5 have started their journey. And he's telling us the propulsion is nominal. Right now, the boosters are doing all the work. They're those two big solid tanks on each side of the launcher. Once they burn their propellant, they separate and fall away. And we might be lucky enough to see that. And we could just see them back there. Those two big boosters, those two dots we saw moving away. There we can see them. Look at that. The dot in the middle is the Vulcan engine on the main stage. And the two lights on either side are the boosters. We don't need them anymore. They've burnt their propellant and we are shedding weight. That's the name of the game. We need to get rid of our weight as quickly as we can. And those were propelling us away from our Earth's gravity. The propulsion is nominal. Bottom left is our altitude. We're 105, 106 kilometers high and climbing. Our distance in the middle. If you were to draw a straight line from the pad, you can still see those boosters moving away. And we have confirmation there that the fairing has now separated. And look how those parts flex. It's called the breathing mode. It's all part of the plan. We don't need the fairing anymore because we are technically in space and our satellites can be exposed to space now because there's no longer any friction and the captain has switched off the seatbelt signs. Everything's going normally. Just from right hand side we can see the speed is 263 kilometers per second, not per hour, per second. We will be getting faster and faster uh -huh. and Sarubi heading towards speeds of above 9 kilometers per second kilo. later. Top right-hand side is our trajectory. The cross is the actual position of our launch vehicle and the uh, trajectory uh, is our planned uh, trajectory. Everything's going according to plan. Everything is nominal. You can see there in the front is our first satellite, which is going to be separated. Tiba 1. We can see it there for the first time. We're going to find out a little bit more now about Tiba 1 in this film. طبعا حتى الان انطلاق الصاروخ بنجاح بدون اي ادنى مشكله جدير بالذكر ان طيبه واحد و 
جي اكس 5 الساتلد الاثنين قمر صناعي اللي موجودين على متن الصاروخ ايريان 5 تم اطلاقهم من النهاردة بنجاح القمرين مخصصين للاتصالات يعني الاثنين مخصصين للاتصالات واحد تابع للاتحاد الاوروبي وطيبة واحد تابع للحكومة المصرية المفترض ان طيبة واحد هيعمل من موقع خمسة وتلاتين ونص درجة شرقا على المدار الارضي وهو الساتلايت رقم اربعة اللي بتطلقه ايرين سبيس لصالح مصر وزنه خمسة الاف وستمية كيلو جرام والمفترض ان هو يبدأ خدمته فعليا بعد ثلاث شهور من اطلاقه وان شاء الله هيستمر في العمل لمدة خمستاشر سنة الستلايت هو واحد من ضمن يعني سلسلة أقمار صناعية باسم طيبة هتطلقها مصر إن شاء الله عشان تدعم الشبكة التحتية للاتصالات الستلايت كان مكتوب عنه انه تكلف 600 مليون يورو عشان صناعته تكلفت 600 مليون يورو واتصنع على شر... على يد شركة ايرباس وثالث الينا سبيس طبعا يعني خبر مفرح جدا ان النهارده يعني الحمد لله الاطلاق تم بنجاح لان يعني اللي لسه جاي في البث ما يعرفش الستلايت اتاخر مرتين كان المفترض ان هو يوم 22 يوم 22 نوفمبر ينطلق او يعني المهمه تتم ولكن حصل بعض المشاكل في نظام الدعم الارضي للصاروخ طبعا القمر ما كانش فيه اي مشاكل ولا صاروخ الاطلاق ولا كان في اي مشكله في 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 الصاروخ نفسه او الساتلايت كان المشكله كلها في نظام الدعم الارضي ولكن اتاجل لمده يومين كان من المفترض ان الموضوع الامر الصناعي ينطلق بتاريخ امبارح لكن حصلت بعض المشاكل اللي هي الخارجه عن الاراده كان الجو مشاكل في الجو وده اللي أجل عملية الإطلاق زي ما كنا بنقول اتأجل انطلاق الصاروخ امبارح بسبب مشاكل في عملية الإطلاق الأستاذ فارس اللي بيسأل حاليا وظيفة القمر إنه قمر اتصالات يعني هو زي ما كنا بنقول هو قمر اتصالات خاص بالحكومة المصرية وهو أول أمر من سلسلة طيبة من المفترض تكون كلها خاصة بالاتصالات دلوقتي And we're really entering now the next phase in this flight because the upper stage has taken the wheel and its engine is going to burn for about 16 minutes. And he's just told us that the uh, propulsion is nominal. It's normal. Tiba One is owned and operated by the Egyptian government. التعليقات اللي جايه من مركز التحكم بتقول ان الاوضاع دلوقتي بخير مفيش اي مشكله في الاطلاق القمر ماشي او الصاروخ ماشي على المسار المحدد ليه وده طبعا دلوقتي على اللايف ده برومو للقمر الصناعي غالبا من الحكومه المصريه مش عارف منين بالظبط بس هو غالبا يعني ده ده البرومو اللي مصر عاملاه الناس اللي بتسأل البث ده مباشر اه مباشر
زي ما واضح قدامكو على على الشاشة ده فيديو طبعا مش حقيقي فيديو جرافيكس يعني من المفترض ان القمر الصناعي يكون بيلف مدار حوالين الارض ده المكان اللي هيغطيه القمر الصناعي هو خاص بمصر وزي ما احنا شايفين اجزاء من ليبيا وسوريا والاردن شمال افريقيا اريتريا جنوب السودان اوغندا والسودان اللي بيسأل بدأ الإطلاق اه تمام الإطلاق بدأ والعملية تمت بنجاح الحمد لله الناس اللي لسه داخله تبت الناس داخلين يسألوا هو أمر اتصالات الخط الأخضر اللي فوق اللي فوق على يمين الشاشة ده المفروض مسار بتاع الصاروخ يعني المفروض ده يعني من تحت خالص كده على الشمال من السرعة بتاعته طالع من صفر لحد ما يوصل لسرعة معينة ده المسار اللي محددينه للصاروخ هو حاليا ماشي في المسار بتاعه طبعا زي ما احنا شايفين في في البرومو طبعا المجالات اللي هيكون مفيد فيها القمر الصناعي سواء المجال المالي او الصحي او الـ او الـ الانظمه الصناعيه يعني ايه اتصالات يعني هو يعني حاليا في لود على شبكة الاتصالات في مصر لأن يعني شبكة الاتصالات في مصر احنا البنية التحتية عندنا مش قوية سواء بقى الانترنت شبكات المحمول شبكات الأرضي الاتصالات العادية فاحنا دلوقتي الناس بت يعني الدول بتبتدي ابتدت تعتمد على الانترنت الفضائي زي المشروع اللي احنا عارفينه كله بتاع ستارلينك فالمفترض ان الساتلايت ده ساتلايت مخصص للاتصالات هيساعدنا في في عمليات الاتصالات في مصر طبعا زي الكاتب في الشات النهضه بقطاع الطاقه والثروه المعدنيه والتعليم والصحه تمام وتوفير خدمه الانترنت طبعا ده الهدف الرئيسي اللي هو الاتصالات وزي ما قلنا ال الامر ده مهمته كلها اللي هو توفير الاتصالات سواء لمصر بشكل حكومي او للحكومة المصرية او بشكل تجاري يعني ممكن بعد كده نشوف يعني يكون عندنا زي اسد خاص بمصر مثلا ممكن نأجر يعني حاجة جزء منه لدول حوض النيل او دولة تانية كده يعني هيكون مصدر مصدر كويس يعني الوقت اللي بيعد ده فوق اللي هو المفروض الوقت منذ انطلاق الصاروخ تمام يعني هو دلوقتي مر على عملية الإطلاق 14 دقيقة بدون أي مشكلة حتى الآن النتائج الخاصة بالموضوع هتظهر كمان ثلاث شهور من المفترض اللي هو يشتغل كمان ثلاث شهور French industrial team, Thalesania Space and Airbus. On behalf of this industrial consortium, I would like to thank the government of Egypt for the confidence in us and the quality of our great cooperation. We are committed to standing side by side and every step of the way. I also want to thank the French authorities for their continuous support all along this program. We all wish the very best for Tiba One. Tiba One is the first dual telecommunication satellite for the government of Egypt. It is a particular honor for Airbus to build this satellite and its ground segment together with Thales Arrhenia Space. We know the vital importance of this program for the national security and the sovereignty of Egypt, as well as for economic development.
الصناعي في محطة اطلاق طيبة واحد هي اي ال اي 3 في غيانا الفرنسية على متن صاروخ اريان 5 Great cooperation there between the two aerospace giants of Europe to make uh, super, some superb satellites today. And uh, if you look at these, is everything's normal? The top right hand side of your screen, you can see the uh, trajectory there. We call that the roller coaster effect. Uh, when, uh, the, you see, you can see that we've been climbing high into space, then we've dropped a little bit of altitude, and then we start climbing higher again. That's because before we were using all our power to get away from Earth. Now we're going to be using it to be able to start speeding up so we can climb higher and higher later in the flight. So let's turn our attention now to our second passenger in GX5. It's a hugely advanced satellite for mobile broadband, and it's going to deliver greater capacity than the whole of Inmarsat's existing GX fleet. A word from their CEO now. gold standard for global mobile broadband communications and is deployed by thousands of users in the air, at sea and on land. Already Imasat's maritime GX service, Fleet Express, has been installed on more than 7,000 vessels and 27 leading airlines have signed up for our aviation GX service, GX Aviation, to provide broadband connectivity to their passengers, while more than 600 business jets have adopted our business aviation GX solution, Jet Connects. We're very proud that these GX services are empowering a transformation in these enormous trillion dollar sectors, including making the maritime and aviation industries more efficient and effective, but also greener and safer. The first four GX satellites were launched to deliver seamless global coverage, plus in orbit redundancy. Today, the terrific initial success of our new GX services are driving us to a second phase of network evolution, as we now look to augment our capabilities to meet huge growth in demand from our customers, as well as keep GX well ahead of our current and future competition. Indeed, the launch of our fifth satellite in the GX fleet represents a step change advance in the capabilities of our GX services to meet the growing demand for aviation passenger connectivity and commercial maritime services across Europe and the Middle East, delivering a bandwidth increase that is greater than the combined capacity of our entire existing GX fleet, marking the start of an unprecedented enhancement in the overall capacity and capabilities of the GX network. Because we're not stopping here with GX5, Imasat is planning to launch a further seven GX payloads over the coming four years. So the future looks incredibly exciting for Imasat, our partners and our customers. Et je tiens également à remercier nos partenaires Thales Alanyaspas et Arianaspas pour leur service extraordinaire d'innovation, le travail acharné et le esprit de coopération. 
Wherever you are in the world, thank you for coming with us on this journey. Today marks another significant step forward as we grow still further global mobile broadband connectivity for all, no matter where you are. It's a changing world indeed, and uh, teamwork is the name of the game. Now, look, you can see there our tracking stations and our flight path across our planet. We lifted off from Gallio in uh, French Guiana. And uh, right, right hand side of the screen, uh, yeah, there you can see we've picked up signal at the Libreville tracking station, which is now our tracking And we're heading out across Africa. على يمين الشاشة فوق ده المسار المتوقع المسار الفعلي اللي عفوا وتحت من المفترض ان هو المسار على GX5 is the fifth satellite in the global express fleet and it was built by the men and women at This launch today is very special for us because we are involved in both satellites about Ariane 5. Everyone at Thales Alenia Space feels personally involved in today's mission with a great sense of pride. It is a great honor for Thales Alenia Space to have built the most powerful global express satellite to date that will meet the surging demand for high-capacity broadband across Europe and the Middle East. GX5 will play an important role in the dynamic growth of a global express network for Inmarsat uh, and will significantly increase its existing capacity for aviation and maritime services. It is fitted with powerful state-of-the-art K-band technology and benefits from the extensive experience from Thales Anya Space in very high-throughput satellites. At Thales Anya Space, we have been working with Inmarsat for more than 10 years and this fruitful relationship started with Inmarsat EA. We are committed to continue supporting NASA in its continuing growth by delivering satellites with outstanding performance. Congratulations to all the teams who have worked so hard on this mission. We wish in Marsat and its customers the very best for today's launch. طبعا الفات ده كان البروم التوضيحي للامر الصناعي في مارسات الامر الثاني اللي بينطلق مع تي باون او تي باون واحد ستلايت الاتصالات المصري so the guys and girls there will be monitoring the separation of our satellites we've crossed africa and uh, we'll be heading out across the indian ocean طبعا الامر الصناعي خلاص تخطى افريقيا وحاليا هيتخطى المحيط الهندي زي ما احنا مش شايفين تحت على الخريطة مسار الصاروخ لحد حتى الآن لسه القمرين ما انفصلوش عن بعض اللي هو انمارسات وطيباسات لسه حتى الآن ما انفصلوش عن بعض حتى الآن الصاروخ مكمل في مساره حتى نقطة الانفصال right altitude of course طبعا المفترض انه يرتفع لارتفاع معين عشان يعني ارتفاع معين ونقطه معينه وسرعه معينه عشان تتم عمليه الانفصال بنجاح and we have the confirmation there that we have now switched the engine off so we're entering the next phase it's called a ballistic phase it means that we're coasting حالياً السروبيين بيدخل المرحلة الجاية المرحلة اللي بعد كده يعني حالياً محركات السروخ انطفت It means we're now getting ready to start the next phase which is to prepare 
المرحلة اللي جاية هي مرحلة فصل الساتلايت الاثنين ساتلايت عن الصاروخ محركات الصاروخ انطفت خلاص طبعا طريق الدعم والتحكم الارضي بيتابع الصاروخ عشان يقدروا يعملوا عملية الفصل النجاح كلهم بيحللوا طبعا البيانات الصاروخ بيانات الرحلة عشان كل تفصيلة بتبقى مهمة جدا وممكن تؤدي يعني لنتائج عكسية أي تفصيلة دقيقة ممكن تؤدي لكوارث So Tiber One is our upper passenger, the one at the front, and it's Tiber One. The upper stage is orientating the satellite so that it can release it onto a very precise orbit. This is the schedule for that separation. And we have confirmation there from the range operations manager that T1 has accepted from the mother ship. So congratulations to all the T1 teams. ألف مبروك لكل الفريق وكل الفريق الإطلاق في مصر وكل طبعا فريق الدعم خلاص. Control center. So Tiba One is on its way. Congratulations to everybody in Egypt, of course, and to the co-prime contractors, Telesilenia Space and Airbus Defence and Space. But of course, we still have our other satellite attached, GX5. That's underneath the black structure. If you look at the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the black structure, the cylinder. Ah, here we go. There's a better shot of it there. It's underneath, so we can't actually see it right now, and we're going to need to release that cylinder before we can start the process of releasing GX5. It's going to be released in about six minutes or so. Being tracked still by the Malindi teams, where you can see the sort of star. That's where we are heading out now over the Indian Ocean. And Tiba One is starting its new life. Needs to climb to thirty-six thousand kilometers to geostationary orbit before it can start delivering services. طبعا الامر الصناعي المفروض ان هو يوصل لمسار معين عشان يبتدي يشتغل حاليا زي ما احنا شايفين انفصل الامر الصناعي الثاني المرسر All big space projects involve a tremendous amount of teamwork and challenges. Hello, I am the Tiba One Program Manager for Airbus. Hi, I am the Tiba One Program Manager for Thales Aina Space. Tiba One Program is the first communication space system for the government of Egypt. This space system consists of a car-bound, dual-use, civil and government telecommunication satellite and its associated ground segment with protected and secure ground satellite link. It is based on state-of-the-art antenna technology and digital payload providing resilience, flexibility and interconnectivity. Tiba One satellite is designed and built in partnership between Thales Alenia Space for the payload and Airbus for the platform, which is a flight-proven and highly reliable Eurostar 3000 platform. The communication module was integrated by Thales Alenia Space and handed over to Airbus, who then drove the satellite integration and test phase. Many thanks to both industrial teams for their efforts on the program. Tiba One was shipped mid-October to the Centre Spatial Guyane. Many thanks to the Ariane Space team with the CSG and Ariane Group teams for the hard work for this launch. After the separation from Ariane 5, 
The Airbus teams in Toulouse will carry out the satellite launch and early orbit phase, which will span over one week. It will be followed by the in-orbit test in December before the handover to our customer. I thank you very warmly the government of Egypt for its confidence and for the exchange always held in a good spirit throughout the program. This program had ambitious objectives both in terms of performance and technical challenges. These were met thanks to the extended cooperation and mutual respect between the government of Egypt team and the French industrial team Thales Aina Space and Airbus. I would like to thank all team members from Thales Aina Space, Thales 6, Thales Egypt and Airbus who contributed to this major project for the government of Egypt. I would like to thank the government of Egypt for the quality of our great cooperation. And now, and now we, we all wish good luck to T Bawan. And uh, uh, Christoph Dallest happens also to be the son of Arian Space's founder and its first president 40 years ago, Frédéric Dallest. So uh, a nice tie in there. Um, so بنحب نفكركم ان من دقيقتين تمت عملية الفصل بنجاح بين الأمر الصناعي المصري تي با وان و ان مار سات اللي انطلقوا على متن ايريان فايف صاروخ ايريان فايف طبعا حاليا لسه ان مرساس موجود يعني انفصل الصاروخ اللي هو انفصل عفوا القمر الصناعي المصري تي با ولكن ان مرساس لسه موجود في المركبه الام الصاروخ المفروض ان المرحله الجايه ان ان مرساس ينفصل عن متن المركبه الام حاليا تاكيد سيبريشن او الانفصال انفصل ان مرسات بنجاح عن المركبة الأم وبكده يكون انفصل الأمر الصناعي تيبا وان وان مرسات وصلوا بنجاح للمدارات الخاصة بيهم طبعا انتهت مهمة صاروخ ايريان فايف بنجاح بعد ما وصل طيبة وان والصاروخ النورسات لمدارهم بنجاح وبدون اي مشاكل الحمد لله تم عملية الاطلاق بنجاح المرة دي اللي ما يعرفش العملية اتأجلت اكتر من مرة في اول مرة اتأجلت بسبب مشاكل في نظام الدعم الارضي وتاني مرة اتأجلت اللي هي كانت امبارح كان مفترض ان هو ينطلق امبارح ولكن اتأجلت بسبب سوء الاحوال الجوية
طبعا الفريق الدعم كله بيأني بعضه عشان نجاح العملية بنجاح يعني انطلقت الصاروخ بنجاح ووصل الأمر الصناعي في مداره بدون أي مشاكل other well of course and uh, they've been working very closely shoulder by shoulder and uh, we lifted off from the pad about 36 and a half minutes ago from launch pad number three here at the Guiana Space Center on board the 250th Ariane vehicle to lift off from the Guiana Space Center it really was a spectacular launch we were very lucky Lifting off on board an Ariane 5, our two passengers, Tiba 1 and GX 5. على حسب اخر التصريحات تيتا 1 اتكلف 600 مليون يورو. Lots of applause here in the Jupiter Control Center. وما تصنعش في مصر، تصنع في فرنسا. على يد شركة ثالث. Showing the flags. And shaking hands, getting ready for the official speeches. The Tiba 1 teams here, looking very happy. Lots of photographs being taken, of course, uh, everyone feeling very proud of themselves, I hope, for a job well done. Waiting now for the post-launch speeches. And of course, up in space, the upper stage is going through its next processes. Once we separate the passenger, what's left of the upper stage is spun up into a different direction. We call it passivation. In the meantime, back down here on Earth, everyone's celebrating the uh, successful launch of the two satellites. So, ladies and gentlemen, I and Space is delighted to announce that uh, TIBA-1 and Inmarsat JX-5 have been separated as planned on the targeted geostationary transfer orbits. Success tests even better when a little of patience was needed. It was the case for tonight. So tonight is a very special launch for many reasons. We are now celebrating with this launch the 250th launch from the Ariane family. You know that the journey has started for Christmas 1979, 24 December, with Ariane first. And we are now almost 40 years later. What a journey we have done together. We are really proud that this launch, which is really special for all the Ariane family, has been delivered for loyal partners and customers. And we would like to thank Tiba One for to sign deeply the agreement. It is our partner and customer for this launch. This satellite is the fourth satellite Ariane Space orbits for an Egyptian actor after three for NISAT. But it is the first we are bid for government of Egypt. We have with us here in the Jupiter uh, room very high-level representative from Egypt, and we are very proud to welcome them and to have them with us tonight. For Tiba One, I want also to thank uh, our satellite partners for this launch, Airbus 
Airbus et Thales sont nos chefs de file, ils sont bien nos libres mains. Nous avons un long partenariat avec Airbus et Thales à l'Enya Space et nous sommes très heureux d'avoir l'opportunité de célébrer ça pour ce lancement. I want also to thank our second customer and passenger for this launch in Marsat. We have within Marsat a long story. The first in Marsat have been orbited in 1981, and it is the tenth satellite we orbit tonight for in Marsat. So it is also a birthday for us. I'm sure that Rupert Pierce is watching us. I want to thank him for his trust. And one more time, we have delivered successfully for in Marsat. Regarding JX5, the satellite manufacturer is uh, Thales Alenia Space. And I have said how our partnership matters for us. So, 250 uh, launches of Ariane. This success, for sure, is the success of Ariane Space Teams, and I want to thank them for their commitment, and they have shown these last days how they are committed to Ariane. But for sure, it is a success of a family. This family is made of many players. We have, for sure, to celebrate and to thank ESA and all the member states of the Ariane program who support is essential. You know that tomorrow we will have the start of an ESA ministerial conference gathering all the ministers of space and how beautiful it is to enter in this conference with one more success from Marianne. So thanks, ESA. I want to thank CNES. CNES is Ariane 5 Design Authority. CNES is our daily partner in CSG. We welcome tonight uh, the new director of CSG, Marianne Claire, and uh, definitely what we have done since so many years, we have done it with CNES. I want to thank Ariane Group. Ariane Group is the prime contractor of Ariane 5. Ariane Group is the main shareholder of Ariane Space. We know that all the engineers of Ariane Group and all the suppliers were uh, mobilized for this success. So thanks to Ariane Group. I want for sure as well to thank our contractors here in French Guiana. They have shown also for this launch that they were able to work without counting their hours. So once again, celebrate this wonderful success. Thank you very much to all our customers. And now I would like to welcome on stage our customers and partners. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. A fantastic moment. And to be honest, for me, it was the first time here in Kourou. Uh, so a spectacular and breathtaking moment. So first of all, thanks a lot to Ariane Espace and their partners, Knes and Isa, for again another success. Uh, it's amazing to, to see the reliability of this launcher. And as you say, uh, Stefan, the cooperation and the, uh, the work between Airbus and Ariane Espace has been a, a long lasting story. And I am more than happy today that, to see that this cooperation is serving the space ambition of Egypt. I would like also to warmly thank our customer, the government of Egypt. Thank him for the trust he has put in our consortium, Airbus and Thales Alenia Space, to build their very first governmental satellite. It has been an honor to work with you. I would like also to congratulate your team that has been following this program side by side with our teams during three years hard work, professionalism, and expertise. So congratulations for that. I would like also to take the opportunity to thank the French government, represented by the DGA tonight in this room, for supporting this cooperation for space between our two governments. Dear customer, tonight you have in orbit a satellite which is a state of the art for broadband and secured communication. And I think you can be extremely proud for that with all the people of Egypt to be tonight part of the space nations of having such an asset. Tiba One is based on the Eurostar 3000 platform. I think tonight it was the number 51 of this platform that has been orbited. And I will say that tonight we can say that with Eurostar and Ariane 5, we have, we have probably the most reliable couple for making telecommunication in space. So the story is not over. After this launch, we will be still working together for the operational deployment of the satellite. And we'll be at your side again during all the lifetime of the satellite. And for sure, 
should our cooperation should last, we will be more than happy to be at your side in the coming years. Last but not the least, uh, I would like to thank the teams of Airbus, wherever they are in Europe, in the UK, in France, or in Germany. I would like to thank them for their dedication, their hard work, to make such a success. And for them, again, the story is not over. They have taken the control of the satellites from our control center in Toulouse, and I can be, and I'm very happy to tell you that we are receiving the telemetry, and everything is okay. So it's on its way. Uh, those people are going to work during the coming weeks with a lot of uh, dedication. So as a conclusion, I would like to say that uh, with all the partners, all the people that are in this room that have worked on this program, more than ever, we can say that teamwork is the motto of our space industry. And now, if you follow me, I will try a few words in Arabic. Hayat Tawila lil kamar Tibawarid. Long life to Tibawan. Thank you and enjoy it. So good evening to everyone. So uh, it's also an event for me uh, because it's, it was my first launch, uh, more so after having joined Thales Alenia Space about uh, just six months ago. So many thanks to Ariane Espas uh, for this wonderful launch. It started with uh, some adventures to test, I think, the solidity of our nerves, uh, but it ended very well. Kullu uh, bikhair, as we say in Arabic. Uh, we have now two important uh, satellites uh, in space and uh, Thales and Alenia Space, uh, we feel really proud because we were involved actually in uh, both of them. Uh, it's not often that uh, two of our uh, satellites uh, travel together on the same rocket, uh, but it happened today for the third time uh, aboard Ariane 5. Uh, it was a particularly exciting launch for Thales Alenia Space in that regard. So first, I would like to very warmly thank the delegation uh, of the government of Egypt for their confidence uh, and trust in us uh, and our partner uh, Airbus uh, for the quality of our cooperation. Uh, at Thales Alenia Space, we will put the same energy into developing further um, your current system as well as uh, developing new ones to help enhance uh, Egypt's uh, influence. I also want to thank the French authorities uh, and, uh, for their support in realizing this contract, and in particular the French uh, DGA. Second, I would like to thank everybody at Inmarsat, um, and in particular uh, Robert Pierce for placing uh, your trust uh, in such an important program, uh, for Inmarsat and Peter Hadinger and his teams uh, for the excellent team spirit that was the key to this success. Third, a big thank to all uh, of the teams, and in particular the women and men uh, at Thales Alenia Space, uh, who have demonstrated their commitment, enthusiasm, and professionalism. We have the deep, deepest respect for each and every one of you. I hope you feel very proud of yourselves. Well done to all uh, uh, for this superb achievement. Right now, the next steps uh, are to get the uh, satellites to their final orbit and validate uh, the space segment. Uh, the team have already begun uh, to work on this. Uh, we have already the telemetry for uh, Tiba 1. I'm expecting the telemetry for Inmarsat. I think it should not long, last very long now. So these might be two very different satellites, uh, but they have something in common. Uh, most importantly, the excellent quality of the teams. Both spacecrafts are outstanding projects. Uh, and behind outstanding projects, we find remarkable uh, people. One of the greatest pleasure in our business uh, is the deep relationship we build with our customers over the years. Uh, in a happy coincidence, the World uh, Conference of Radio Communication took place in Egypt this month uh, and just ended, actually last Friday, just a few days uh, before Egypt got its new satellite. So an important moment for all our Egyptian uh, friends. So we wish all the best to Tiba One. Uh, allow me to say in Arabic, Alpha Mabruk, uh, to our Egyptian friends. Uh, we wish also in Marsat uh, and its customers the very best for GX5. Good luck to everyone involved in the next phase of operation over the coming hours and days. Congratulations to all. Merci. Shokran. Thank you. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, on behalf of all of in, in Marsat, I want to thank everyone who's been involved in making this launch a success. 
Um, I can confirm we do have telemetry from GX5, so we're good news there. Um, th this, uh, this spaceport is so important and it's زي ما انتم شايفين طبعا الـ الـ يعني دي تصريحات المسؤولين في شركة الإطلاق والفريق الدعم بيقدمها بعد إطلاق الصاروخ إيريان 5 بنجاح كان في حد من شوية بيسأل في, في الكومنتات عن إزاي بيتم تحديد أماكن الإطلاق طبعا يعني ليها عمليات معقدة جدا يعني حساب الأماكن دي ليها عمليات حسابية معقدة بتعتمد على جغرافية المكان و وقرب المكان من ال من يعني من المدارات وارتفاع المكان او كده فحاليا يعني ده ده لينك لل للي عايز يعرف اكتر على اي على اي اساس بيتم تحديد انطلاق الصواريخ فيسكو اوفت انا ام ديلايت زي ما وضحنا قبل كده أمر الاتصالات طيبة 1 هو أول أمر في سلسلة طيبة الخاصة بالاتصالات الأمر تابع للحكومة المصرية الأمر كل مهمته أنه هيغطي الاتصالات في مصر وبعض دول شمال أفريقيا والدول حوض النيل الأمر الصناعي هيكون مساعد او هي يعني او هو هيدعم شبكه الاتصالات التحتيه في مصر لان زي ما انتم عارفين في مشاكل كتيره في الشبكه التحتيه عندنا في مصر شبكه الاتصالات ومع الوقت بتزيد عدد الاجهزه اللي بتتصل بالشبكه بيزيد اللود والحمل على الشبكه بتزيد الحاجه لسرعات عاليه من الاتصالات طبعا هيخدم هيخدم حاجات كثيرة جدا سواء في الصحة أو الصناعة أو الاتصالات هو هدفه الأساسي اللي هو يكون أمر اتصالات تمام ف... فالاتصالات مهمة دلوقتي في كل حاجة كل حاجة دلوقتي معتمدة على الانترنت ف... فحاجة زي كده هت... يعني هتتسبب في... في تطور كبير جدا في مجال الاتصالات positioning the satellite into the correct orbit and performing the deployments. And that will be followed by testing of both the spacecraft and the network. And then it will enter into operations to be part of IMARSAT's Global Express Network. And we hope that we welcome it as, it's for, as the 14th member uh, of our satellite fleet. Uh, so thank you ever so much. And finally, I just want to wish the best of luck to our uh, Government of Egypt colleagues uh, a very successful mission, and I hope uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I best of luck for the future. Thank you very much. The year is not uh, totally over in uh, CSG, so we will be back on December the 17th. It will be uh, with a Soyuz vehicle, and it will be uh, as well a very important mission. We will have uh, Cosmos KyMed, a second generation for uh, ASI and uh, Thales Alenia Space, so for Italy. We will have a scientific mission for ESA with uh, KEOPS, and we will have uh, three uh, auxiliary payloads with ANGELS, ISAT, and OPSAT. So thank you very much for this wonderful evening and see you back December 17th. Thank you. انتهى المؤتمر الصحفي الخاص بعملية الإطلاق رقم 250 لصاروخ إيرين 5 واللي حمل على متنه الأمر الصناعي المصري في باصات واحد والأمر الصناعي إن مرسات
teams to, um, in particular, to obviously to the Farsad teams and the Timor One teams, the government of Egypt. But I would also like to say. وشكرا لكل اللي اتفرج على البث وانا عارف ان يعني ممكن ما اكونش ضفت حاجات كتيره في في البث ولكني حبيت اشارك الناس يعني اللحظه المهمه دي وخصوصا يعني هتكون خطوه كبيره جدا في 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 نقطه الاتصالات في مصر وهتعمل تطور كبير جدا في سواء مجال صناعي او مجالات الاتصالات مجالات التعليم مجالات كثيره جدا هتتطور لو تم استخدام الامر ده بشكل صحيح واحب افكركم ان هو من المفترض انه يشتغل بعد ثلاث شهور من النهارده طبعا اللي ما شافش عمليه الاطلاق دي عمليه اطلاق الصاروخ ايريان 5 اللي حمل على متنه طيبه سات وانمار سات شكرا لكل اللي اتفرج على البث ويا رب بالتوفيق بالتوفيق يعني في لمصر في مجال الاتصالات وان شاء الله نقدر نحقق حاجه يعني حاجه كويسه يعني نقدر نواكب التطور والحاجات اللي حاصله في في الدول المتقدمه ان شاء الله يكون يعني خطوه على الطريق الصحيح شكرا لوقتكم واتمنى انكم تكونوا استمتعتم بالفيديو مع السلامه